Leo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. So I must say that the lighting in this room sucks. And uh, we're gonna have to deal with it. All right, I don't think I'll be able to reveal the cars to you guys. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, you see, they get lost. Anyways, so let's get to it. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 9th through the 15th. All right, I'm going to be tuning into the overall energies here that you guys are dealing with. And uh, let's get a message of clarity, a message, whatever wants to come forth for you, anything that will facilitate you, anything that will facilitate this time. All right, let's get a message that someone here needs to hear. All right, so, by the way, I just posted a video in the Occult Archives which I'm going to list in the description, talking about my spiritual awakening that I had when I was 16. You may find it very interesting. If you're into spiritual talk, go check it out. It's under Occult Archives in the description. Nevertheless, let's get four more shuffles. What's going on with the lines from the 9th through the 15th, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> let's get... One, no, no, I want two more. What's going on with the Leos during this time? It matters of love. <clears throat> I'm wearing red. For, look at, there you are, Nine of Wands. Let me get this closer here, buddies. All right, there you are, Nine of Wands, ladies and gents. At the bottom of the deck, wow, speaking of which, look at that, we got the sun. Oh, look, we are going to be able to work with the lighting. Fascinating. <clears throat> then the strength. My goodness, are we not connected, Leo, or what? The High Priestess, so it looks like you guys are single as a Pringle, all right? You're possibly out in the dating scene here with the Knight of Wands. This is someone here that could be out flirting, someone here that is non-committal. That doesn't mean that you aren't looking for commitment, the Hierophant. I don't feel like you're going to settle, though, all right? I feel like you're finding your happiness and your independence. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, ladies and gents. Leo, you are exuding quite a vibrant energy, to say the least. Very attractive. I mean, you could be the center of attention. I know you got you got potential suitors here. And if you don't, it's because you're not getting out. All right? That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, you're not getting out, ladies and gents. You need to get out. Because the type of energy that you got, man, all the, all the vulture is going to be over that carcass. Let's see what's going on here with the... Uh, you're like, I don't want a vulture. What's going on here with the sun? What's with the sun about? The tower. You see, this happiness didn't come just out of nothing, ladies and gents. I don't know what you were investing into, but it wasn't serving you good. And it came crashing down, Leo. Shit came crashing down. It must have been atrocious, difficult. You had to go through some sort of healing. You had to walk away from something here with the Eight of Cups. You know, a lot of times we go through very challenging endings, right? The World Cards talks about closure or chapters coming to an end. Ten of Swords could have been something very challenging. But from this ten, we go from one plus zero equals one. So I really get, I'm getting the sense that you're finding yourself in a position where, where you are experiencing <clears throat> a new beginning, flat out. And this happiness is coming from a place that was challenging to walk away from. What is the strength card? So the strength is indicating that you are still having to be disciplined. You're still having to stay on your A game, Queen of Wands, but you're looking good as hell. Let me tell you, Leo, I don't know what you got going on here. You know what it is? is that you've been doing a lot of work. You've been doing a lot of inner work here with the Hermit. And you still are. You still are. Let's keep it real. You're, you're not in the most... Um, your energy is exuberant, but I feel like you yourself are not so exuberant, per se. There is an element of introspection. Okay, so that's not to say that you, you aren't good getting out there, but when you're alone, I feel like you do go into deep thoughts. All right, let's look at that. Knight of Swords. What is the Knight of Swords about? <clears throat> What's the Knight of Swords about? Hmm. Ladies and gents, you could be holding on to some sort of spite, some sort of conflict here. All right. Someone here might have done you dirty. They might have deceived you or, you know, they just sabotaged the, the relationship in a way that they wounded you. It could have been a third party energy. Now, <clears throat> what's going on here with the Nine of Coins? The Eight of Coins. This is you working on yourself. That's it. I'm just seeing you work on yourself, Leo. And you're finding balance. You're finding the very necessary balance that you are in need of. All right. After a major disappointment. I need to put this damn phone in silent because... <clears throat> then it's just it's like when I start doing these readings, people start blowing me up. So let's see what's going on, Leo. It doesn't seem like you got much going on when it comes to matters of love. All right. 
This was a love reading, but all I'm picking up, that doesn't, you know, just because I'm reading a lot of introspective energy doesn't mean you don't have something going on in love. Let's see, let's get a message of love. What's going on here? What are the energies surrounding Leo's love life? I see them doing well for themselves. I see them growing. I see them walking away from something that wasn't serving them. Let's get two more shuffles. <clears throat> let's see what's going on, Leo. Let's get one last shuffle. All right. So... Yeah, when it comes to matters of love, I want to go back to what I was saying here. All right, my lips are chatting. Hold on. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I'm seeing here is that there's a lot of defensiveness. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. Defensiveness. Hold on, let me get this thing vibrating. I don't know. This shit's annoying. All right. So, <clears throat> anyways. So the seven of swans, this is all about defensiveness, Leo. All right, so clearly you are in conflict with somebody here that could be an earth sign, ladies and gents, or someone's in conflict with you. Someone might have shunned you off. Nevertheless, it could be a Capricorn here with the devil energy. There's still a very strong attachment to the toxicity that ensued between you and them. All right, ten of wands. But, you know, one thing that is certain is that the eruption or the negativity that ensued is something that's accepted on both ends. The cycle has shifted or the cycle has completed. It is what it is. Maybe you don't like the new chapter that, that you know, this relationship is starting. Maybe it's atrocious. Maybe it's a, it started with a really difficult ending and you guys have not had, you know, peace with one another. It's, a, it's atrocious per se, possibly. But it is what it is. It's the truth. It's the truth. And, and that's being looked at clearly. At least... Um, you know, that's what I'm getting the sense of here. The judgment. Exactly what I'm saying. It's like you guys judge it for what it is. You're not bullshitting yourself. You're seeing clearly as grotesque as it may be. You're seeing it clearly. This is what the judgment's about. It's about, you know, having that clear perspective and clearing the clearing your own perplexity in regards to <clears throat> in regards to the situation. Let's see. What is Leo's energy? I want to look into Leo's energy here when it comes to this. Is this definite, definitely done or what? What is Leo's energy towards this individual? Is this a temporary break? Is this a... Let's get two more shuffles. <clears throat> All right, Leo, let's see. So we got the Hermit, we got the Star card, and we got the Page of Cups. Leo, look, you're appearing as the Page of Swords, so you could be spying on this individual. Okay, you might have... You, you might be looking up tarot readings trying to find information regarding this individual. Nevertheless, the star card speaks about fore, foretelling. Not foretelling. What am I saying? Foreseeing. Okay, foreseeing. This is somebody here using the, the imagination to cultivate some sort of idea of the future. Call it wishful thinking, hopeful thinking. Maybe that's maybe you don't really resonate with the with the word of hope or wishful about your person, you know, opening up to you. But I am seeing some sort of imaginary energy regarding vulnerability, emotional vulnerability between you and somebody. I do get the sense that you want to communicate with someone. All right, but you're withdrawn. You're withdrawn with the hermit energy. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel that you might have turned off your emotions. I feel that you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve when it comes to this person. All right. And wow, this was a significant relationship. You guys could have even been committed or even married, Leo. So what's the mutual energy between these two individuals? What is the mutual energy between Leo and whomever it is that Leo is still having some sort of imaginary thoughts about? The mutual energy is what? The Eight of Wands. Well, ladies and gents, we got nothing but cards of communication. All right, so are you guys engaging with this individual? I'm confused now. If you are, you're you're refraining from being in a unity with this individual, or there's a sense of there's an element of independence here. Talk to me more about the mutual energy between these two individuals. The justice. So your situation is undergoing an act of balancing. The lovers here at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Let me look into your person's energy here. <clears throat> Let me look into this person's energy just to get a, a clear perspective of what's going on here. What is this, whomever it is that Leo is connected to when it comes to a romantic sense? What is this individual's energy towards Leo? Okay, nice. Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. 
All right, Leo. So your person here is distraught, to say the least. They're still experiencing a significant amount of depression here. Their ending has not ended. Queen of Coins, again, could be an earth sign. Nevertheless, this individual is still very, very wounded, very, very disappointed, disillusioned with the situation, and they got some feelings for you. This individual still got feelings for you. This individual is not moving away, all right? This individual is still anticipating some sort of change coming into the relationship. The judgment, this is all about transformation with the death, transformation towards a new beginning, judgment, resurrection, you know, something from the dead rising, energy of the phoenix burn, you know, it's like it, it rises from its ashes. The death is all about transformative energy here. And the ace is obviously the new beginning, the new beginning from this. They, they're definitely seeing reconciliation here, six of cups and the ten of swords, ladies and gentlemen. So I feel that right now with the nine of cups, your person is focusing on themselves, but you're most certainly a wish fulfillment to this person. They're wounded. They're wounded. Nine of Cups clarified by the Nine of Wands. The nine, the Nines are very solitary numbers, kind of like uh, the Hermit, right? The Major Arcana, it's a very solitary number, but one of uh, a profoundness to say the least. There's a lot of depth. Either there's lessons or a lot of self-contentment, right? The Nine of Coins, Nine of Cups is a lot of self-contentment. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, this is all like profound stress. All right, and wounds and shit. Nevertheless, what's with the seven of wands or seven of swords? It's the seven of cups. A lot of synchronicities here, numerical synchronicities here. So, ladies and gents, I feel like your person is going through a very, very challenging um, situation. There could be a... <clears throat> what I'm getting the sense of... So, it's, it's clear that this individual is undergoing a tower moment. I mean, both of you guys are. The relationship in general is, is what we picked up, the tower moment. And... From the situation, it's as if there's a massive lesson to uh, to this, at least on your person's end. All right, and what I'm getting the sense of is that whatever's attained from this experience is going to compel this person. It's going to compel this person towards a certain direction. I don't know what direction that is, but I just see some sort of conviction, you know, formulating in this individual whether whether they're going to be committed towards a certain path from this. I don't know if it's personal or if it has to do with the relationship, but this is quite significant for this individual. All right, what is this? What is this direction here that, I, that I'm getting? Where are they going? The Five of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning from a defeat. Where, where, where is it that they're going? Where are they going to go here? <clears throat> the Devil Energy. Hmm. This individual may have some... <laughs> this individual may have some very uh, sh dark and profound shadows within themselves. All right, I'm getting a lot of dark energy here regarding them on a profound level here, Leo. You see, I keep saying the seven, or I keep getting the seven, and I, this conviction is part of, of the chariot, right? And this is exactly what I saw. I saw the chariot in my mind, and that's why I was saying this person is going towards a certain direction. And, you know, really where they're going, ladies and gents, they're going within themselves. That's what I'm seeing here. The devil, all right, we got the five of swords, Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. I'm telling you, a lot of numerical synchronicities. Nine, nine, seven, seven, five, five. Your person here is gonna have to be is gonna have to do some shadow work for sure. All right. This is what the situation is compelling them towards, and this is something that you gotta consider, Leo. Is that when we go through very challenging ordeals, especially regarding love, it always compels us to go back within ourselves. Let's say you fall out with your significant other. Now you're left by yourself. If you do this correctly, you're going to go back within yourself. You're going to heal certain aspects of yourself. You're going to grow as an individual from this situation. A lot of people get caught up in the tumultuousness of the feelings and they become obsessed. They become desirous and needy and all sorts of fucking toxic um, projections, right? They embody a bunch of toxic projections. But if done appropriately, you will embrace the difficulty of this and you will go within yourself, which seems to be what your person is being compelled toward going within themselves. I don't know how this is going to end up for the relationship, but you guys are still very much bound to one another and you guys are definitely playing a significant role in each other's lives. All right. I see you still foreseeing something in the future with this person. You possibly expecting communication. You know, you got feelings for this individual. This shit, you guys are separated, but it's not, it's not definite. They haven't moved on. They're also anticipating some sort of change, but I feel like this individual has got something much greater going on than what's what you see be, you know, on the surface, if you will. Nevertheless, Leo, I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to continue this in the extended. All right. In the extended, I'm going to be looking into this individual's perception of you. I'm going to look into this individual's 
perception of the future uh, regarding this relationship. All right, so what future do they envision regarding this relationship? I also want to see what actions they're going to be taking toward you, if any at all, this week. It doesn't look like it, but I'm going to look, I'm going to ask that regardless. And the near future, we're going to see where this is going here in the future. Now, if you're interested in getting access to all the extended readings, the link to the full access is going to be below the extended reading. Read the description, all right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense to me, but read the description and everything will make sense. All right, Leo, nevertheless, it's a pleasure connecting with you guys. And really, the energy that I picked up from you initially was quite extraordinary. All right, sure, your love life may be a shit show and you may not be content. But ladies and gents, you've definitely attained some sort of growth. You seem to be shining flat out. All right, this is what I got. I'll see you guys around.